Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look how we can manage our flows using Power Automate administration and as well as using Power Automate management connectors. So uh, I am on connector in my MS flow screen. So you can see like these are recently added connector which gives us capability of managing our flows. So if you see, uh, I'm hovering on this Power Automate for admins. So this is a specific connector where we can manage our individual flows like uh, we can stop or enable disable flows we can add users or owners to that flow and we have the other connector that is power automate management so this flow like is used to manage the creation of flow modify modification of any flow like adding the users owners and also like uh, we can get the list of entire flow uh, which is created by admins or created by you as a list and uh, we can also like uh, create a new flow using existing flow definitions so it's very powerful like whenever if you would wish to automate your entire environment entire environment with specific flows then these are the two recommended connectors which you, which you can use so we will take a look how we can create so i'll just go to my flow section and we'll try to use the actions which are being provided by these flows so I'm going to this uh, instant cloud flow though like I'll be choosing a manual trigger for time being. So in next step, I'll be actually searching for admin so that I can see these connectors. So you can see I have this power automate admins and power automate management. So let me just uh, walk you through the actions which we have in power automate admins. So I can disable a flow as an admin, add it flow owner role as an admin enable flow get flow owner i can get the entire list of owner of that flow and removal of approval from the from the flow and removing flow as admin so there are few actions you can see like there that is written as admin that means like you can perform this action if you're administrator of this entire uh, environment so there are specifically these actions are limited to one flow so for example, enabling a flow or disabling a flow and then get a users for the flow. But if I go to the other one, other connector that I said, the power automate admin, uh, management, then it's much more powerful. It will give you the entire uh, control on your environment and as well as the, under the flows uh, within that environment. So it's creating a connection. You can create a flow. So this flow we can create using one uh, this uh, definition flow definition so we can just simply select the our environment where our all the flows are and we can give a name to this flow we can give a flow definition so in, so flow definition is nothing but a json file which we can get out of any of the flow so you can prior to this step you can what you can do is like you can just simply use get flow as an action or you can just find out power automate management and then from here you can just say get flow specifying your environment and post that you can select your flow and as an output of this step we'll get one json so let's say i am selecting this flow and while creating this a new flow out of this above template i can just simply say flow definition and from here i can just pick the definition as a dynamic which was given from my earlier step so this power automate management is a very strong uh, I would say actions that give us a set of actions where we can manage the, our entire environment along with flows so I just uh, told you like how you can create the flow and I will just want to go like few other actions because those are important so let me just delete all this existing one and I'll again start finding admin power management so you can see like I ha I can delete the flow from this specific environment. I can get flow which we just saw and get flow as, my, as admin. If you're admin of entire this environment, then you would able to get more flows rather than just uh, the flows you, which you have created for yourself. List connector, list flow owners. We can get a uh, flow owners for all the uh, specific flow and uh, so why this is important is like consider an example where uh, let's say you have created 20 flows in your environment but uh, you have not shared those flows with any of your uh, peer or colleague so in one shot you would like to add the owner to that flow so you, what you can do you can just pick up this list my flow 
over here you can select your environment and post that environment this will list down all the flows in your environment and again you can go to your actions power automate management actions and we can just pick the add list owners or modify flow owners you can pick this one this action which will allow you to add the owners to your existing flows so you can pick your environment you can see like all the flows are there so you can just uh, because we are we want to like uh, do this for entire list of flows so what i'm going to do that i'll be selecting a flow from this previous action that is flow name so it will automatically bind that to apply to each loop so that means like for all the flows which are there in my environment it will modify the owners and in the owners add user so i have to pass the object id so how you can get the object id you can simply again use one more connector that is uh, get user profile so you see like we have this connector of s users so using that you can find out any users object and have that uh, user object id passed to the next step so you can use this search one so in this search one or probably like if you are want to do for yourself or for your manager then you can have the other actions as well so in this search term you can just specify email address so that will give you uh, for example i'm specifying my this one and top five results let's say though like i'll be getting only one but uh, going forward in the next step i can use the id which i got from my previous step so i can just pick the id user id which i got from previous tab so this id will be given or added to this user id so that's how like uh, i'll get i'll find a user based on some search from from uh, based on email and uh, i can just modify the flow or add the user id and modify the flow owners for that specific all the environments so you can see like this bind up in a apply to each loop and uh, if you are just doing that for your manager you can just instead of the search user you can simply quick way you can just say get user and we have that get manager so rather than like searching the user you can just directly find it out in principal name or id you have you can specify the upn so upn is basically this membership id which we are having so this thing you can specify in your flow and that's how you will get the id engaged for your uh, this whenever you would like to modify the ownership of that flow then you can use the id you can just find out that out from this dynamic content and this id of your manager you can specify this one and once you save it so we have to get this uh, activity out of this loop i'm just copy uh, cutting that deleting this and pasting it directly over here from my clipboard right so by this you would able to share your all the flows with your manager directly and if you wish to do that for yourself then you can simply again like uh, get your profile because this flows are already shared with you so that that doesn't make much sense but still if you would like to fetch your own profile then you can do using get my profile so basically uh, what i'm trying to say over here like uh, this flow power automate management gives us lot of uh, flexibility on managing our flows assigning owners removing owners disabling the flows in 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 bulk or deleting deleting the flow in bulk so and also like consider a scenario where you would like to manage your, all your flows in a sharepoint list where you would like to just uh, manage the state of the flow using that list so all the production flows are listed in sharepoint list and based on uh, sharepoint list item column value let's say like enable or disable you just want to like uh, uh, manage your entire flows environment so i hope like uh, you got the high level idea if you have any specific question where you want me to make more video around it then i would be happy to make and uh, if you 
got the brief idea about it then please do subscribe and drop your comments over here so that's it for today thank you